Division of real numbers follows the same rules as multiplication of real numbers in that a negative times a negative is equal to a positive and a negative times a positive is equal to a negative. Here's why. Every division problem can be turned into a multiplication problem. The division problem 6 divided by 3 has an answer of 2. But 6 divided by 3 can also be rewritten as 6 times 1 third. 6 times 1 third, you know, this, whole, this number 6 can be put over a 1, is the same thing as um, uh, reducing this 3, goes into here once and into here twice, and I have finally an answer of 2 times 1 in the numerator, or 2 over 1. So 6 divided by 3, which we knew had an answer of 2, is the same thing as 6 times 1 third. So division problems follow the same rules as multiplication. So if I were to write and ask you to tell me what 42 divided by a negative 7 is, you would tell me that a positive divided by a negative is a negative answer. So in this case, a negative 6. If I wrote a negative 42 divided by a negative 7, you would say a negative divided by a negative is a positive. I would like you to know that these problems could be written with a bar instead of with the division symbol. So I might write this problem as a negative 42 divided by a negative 7. Again, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. If I did a division problem with fractions, again, signs follow the same rules. Um, and so let's take 7 eighths and divide it by um, a negative 1 half. So a positive number divided by a negative number gives us a negative answer. So I know the answer to this problem is going to be negative. Let's go ahead and remember that when you divide with fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal of that negative 1 half, which is a negative 2 over 1. I'll put the 7 eighths in front. The negative sign can go with the numerator or it can go with the denominator. It doesn't really matter because you've got a positive times a negative. Positive times a negative is a negative. And then I'm going to go ahead and reduce this. Um, 2 goes into that negative 2 one time and into that 8 four times. I'm just keeping that sign so I don't forget that my answer is going to be negative. And finally, 7 times a negative 1 is a negative 7. And 4 times 1 in the denominator is 4. And I can leave that answer as a negative 7 fourths. I can put that sign in front of the fraction bar. I could even put it in the denominator. That's highly unlikely that you would enter your answer like that. But the sign, this is a negative number. It can go here, it can go here, or it can go there. This is the more common one. This is pretty common as well. Finally, there's one last thing I'd like to talk to you about division before, and it has nothing to do with sign numbers. Um, when we were young, we learned that when we took 6 and divided by 3 and got an answer of 2, that we could take our results and multiply it by the divisor to, do, to see if we get what we started with. Um, so this 2 times 3, does it give us that 6? And that was how we could say to ourselves, oh yeah, I did that correctly, because division was kind of a hard thing to get a, a handle on. So again, we knew this was correct because 2 times 3 is equal to 6. If I ask you to divide by 0, 6 divided by 0, I'm asking you to do, let's look at it like that, and get an answer. And so now what I want you to tell me is, can you take anything and multiply it by 0 and get 6? And you can't. So there is no solution. Not, there is no value that can be multiplied by 0 to get 6. And so we say that when we divide by 0, that it is an undefined expression. Dividing by 0, I cannot do, and I need you to tell me that that is undefined.